that heat just sticking around, taking things out into the tropics. Here's a view of the tropical Atlantic. We have a tropical wave moved off of Africa. We're going to be talking about this for quite some time. We have another wave emerging there, but this is the one that we're going to keep our eyes on. This is 98L area of investigation. And as we run the computer models, you can see we have the agreement that it does make that westerly track. We're stopping the clock there on Tuesday evening, but it is rolling over some very hot ocean temperatures. We've had ocean temperatures breaking records pretty much almost a year long in the tropical Atlantic and tropical storms need at least 79 degrees and above to form and also just strengthen very quickly. So that's going to, going to be one of those factors we're looking out for with this system as it passes over those very hot ocean temperatures. So as we fast forward through your Wednesday, take a look. Some of the models do take this very close to Puerto Rico. One takes it out to Haiti. Others just keep it to the north of the Leeward Islands. But regardless, majority of the agreement with these models make that curvature away from the Bahamas as we get into a whole week out from today. Really hot ocean temperatures. We're talking temperatures in the 80s, so this can become a hurricane by a whole week out. Next name on the list is Ernesto, and if it is a stronger system, it's going to make that turn even sooner. If it's weaker, it's going to be driven off to the east. So something we're still going to be monitoring very closely across South Florida, especially for our friends of the Bahamas. But as of now, models do take this 500 miles to our east. Back at home, typical sea breeze summer-like pattern today. We had some showers, some storms, some late sea breeze activity. So just some late storms in the forecast for you throughout the rest of the evening. Quiet conditions throughout most of the Treasure Coast. I am watching this one thunderstorm developing right along the turnpike there just to the north of Beeline Highway. Some very heavy rainfall just to the north there of Jupiter Farms. To the south of Stewart, we're seeing a lot of lightning strikes. We're going to keep an eye on that cell for you for the next couple of hours, but off to the west of Lake Okeechobee, that's where we're seeing a lot more activity, especially right around Clewiston. So some late storms still possible, at least now through sundown, but otherwise most of us do stay nice and dry. And it was so hot today, temperature Still feeling like the triple digits there in Indian Town, 105, feeling like 105 in West Palm, feeling like the hundreds down in Boca Raton. And as we go throughout the next few hours, as I mentioned, still keeping the umbrella around likely there for your 8 o'clock hour. Then after that, you can put it away if you have plans to be out and about on the Saturday night. Really looking good. Temperatures staying steady in the low 80s, couple upper 70s by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. Can't rely on maybe a stray shower just before 10 a.m., but a better chance to see some rainstorm activity developing throughout the afternoon. Sunday morning, 5 a.m., we'll see the sun begins to rise right around 6 50 a.m. And then here's a look at the showers just before 10 o'clock right around Boca can't be rolled out all the way up into West Palm by the afternoon right around lunchtime. We'll start to see some rain and storms developing from noon all the way through three o'clock right along the turnpike in 95 pushing towards the western half of the state, leaving our coastal areas really lovely throughout the remainder of your Sunday evening. Monday kids heading back to school off to a dry start, couple clouds, but really a beautiful morning there as the kids get ready for that first full day of school. A couple showers developing along the sea breeze, mostly inland and heading towards the western half of the state throughout the evening hours. So definitely looking like a great day to start off the work week. So hot conditions for tomorrow, light chop there in the intercoastal, low rip current risk. So take advantage of that one last beach day before the school year. 70s for tonight, some afternoon storms for tomorrow. Guess what? Speaking of Sunday night all the way into Monday morning, you have a chance to catch some meteor showers in the sky. So make sure you look up just before on. Temperatures will stay in the 90s. We're looking at possibility of some heat advisories being issued once again for your Sunday. So impact weather each and every day because of the heat advisories. Temperatures filling over 100 plus degrees and the chance for some apps.